I feel like every tech YouTuber right now is telling us to not learn how to code, but also they're all sponsored by Skillshare. No, but talking about people that actually matter in the world. Jensen Wong, who if you're living under a rock, he's the CEO of NVIDIA. And if you're not living under a rock, he's still the CEO of NVIDIA. Has recently said that people should not be learning how to code right now because in the future there's not going to be any programmers ai is going to do everything for us it's not to name names but for some of us who might already have a four-year degree in computer science and a, and a career writing code it, it could be too late but hey for you maybe it's not too late so let's say hypothetically you're one of the people whose brain has not been poisoned by ones and zeros and you're deciding should i learn how to code should i switch careers should i study in college should i try to become a software engineer is it just too late let's figure out why did Jensen Huang say that? We shouldn't be learning how to code. Spoiler, he thinks the AI is going to take over coding. Second of all, we got to figure out whether that is an actual credible threat. So let's do that. So why Jensen Huang would say you shouldn't learn how to code? If there's any one person who has benefited the most from the current AI craze, it is this guy, Jensen Huang. He is the CEO of NVIDIA. NVIDIA is making these AI chips that make all the cool AI things possible today, like ChatGPT, all large language models, transformer models, etc. And because of all this AI craze, NVIDIA became the most valuable company in the world for like two seconds. Then it got overtaken. But we can pretend I published this video during those two seconds. It'll be our secret. Not only has this guy become insanely rich off of this AI hype, he's also become a bit of a celebrity. I don't know if y'all saw the photo of him signing this woman's boobs. That was weird. I, he has a wife. Anyway, so suffice it to say, Jensen Huang is really invested in AI being a huge deal. Because if AI is not a huge deal, then people do not need his chips, and then he doesn't get to be a celebrity, and then he doesn't get to make one bajillion dollars. So to me, hearing him say that AI is going to take over software engineers, AI is going to be such a huge deal, is pretty predictable. He's selling AI. And not to say that AI is not a huge deal, it's obviously a huge deal. He became the most valuable company for two seconds for a reason. Everybody needs these chips to be building their cool new features, but in order for the company to keep growing, in order for that stock price to keep going up, we need people to think that it is going to become an increasingly large deal. That is what he's saying. Right? Not only is AI going to take over the way it already has today by like ChatGPT, AI features, and like every freaking piece of software you can ever think of, but also AI is going to take over entire professions like software engineering. And therefore, you need to invest now because Nvidia is going to the moon. Just to put this in a different way, imagine if everything was being replaced by hot dogs. So instead of AI being put into every freaking software, every physical object was becoming a hot dog. And then if I came on here and I was like, guys, I think software engineers are going to get replaced by hot dogs. You'd be like, I, I don't really understand how software engineers can be replaced by hot dogs, but okay, I mean, she is a software engineer. Maybe she knows something about software engineers and hot dogs. But then if somebody in big catch up, you know, Heinz International was like, software engineers are going to get replaced by hot dogs. You better buy up all your ketchup right now because we're going to be in high demand. You'd be like, all right. How is a hot dog going to replace a software engineer? This guy has an angle. Jensen Huang is big ketchup in the metaphor. With all that said, I will admit that it is slightly more likely for AI to replace software engineers than for hot dogs to replace software engineers. He's not completely off base. He didn't make up the idea of AI taking over software engineers. So even if his incentives are perhaps not the best, how likely is it that AI actually is going to take over coding? So there's lots of instances of AI helping you code and being a tool for software engineers, like GitHub Copilot, for example, will predict your next few lines of code, or people will use ChatGPT to say, show me how I can build this kind of web page and it will you know, give them some lines of HTML. But the most highly publicized AI that would be trying to replace software engineers is Devin. And Devin was created by this startup. And the idea is that you could hire Devin and he, they, would do your coding tasks for you. So when Cognition Labs originally released Devin, they said that it could complete 14% of programming tasks. And they were actually looking at real world GitHub issues, which in the grand scheme of things is pretty impressive. Like if you're just dropped into a random GitHub repository and like a random programming language, you see an issue, it probably doesn't have that much context around it. It would be pretty hard to solve that. I'm a senior software engineer, I work full stack. So I do work in like a lot of different code bases, but it still would take me a really long time to even understand that problem. 14% though, it should be noted, is really not enough to replace a software engineer. If you hired someone and they had a 14% success rate, you probably wouldn't keep them around for that long. But it turned out the primary demo that Cognition Labs released along with that 14% statistic was fake. It actually got discovered by a YouTuber, Internet of Bug. He went through the entire video and he tried to recreate what Devin was doing and realized that something was seriously wrong. The demo specifically had Devin go on to Upwork, which is a website where you can pay people to do coding tasks. 
And the idea was that Devin was gonna do one of these coding tasks, be a real software engineer. So the task that they had Devin pick up was actually taking a GitHub repo and providing instructions for how to set up an EC2 instance on AWS. So that really shouldn't require any coding. But instead of providing instructions, what Devin did is generate a bunch of code and then debug the code that it generated and do that for six hours, which looked great in the demo, right? Because my man is debugging, he's off on his little quest, but it turned out that quest was a side quest because nobody asked him to be writing code, debugging the code, anything like that. So I would not say I'm very scared of Devin. That is not to say there will never be an AI software engineer. I think that is something that is possible in our lifetime, but not short enough term that I don't think you should be learning how to code. If you're trying to go to college and get a four year degree, I don't think by the time you graduate, Devin will have taken over our world. Also, somebody has to make Devin, okay? I don't think we're gonna get to a place where Devin is creating Devin is creating Devin is creating Devin. I think that somebody is gonna need to be at the helm of each of those applications, if only because we don't really trust AI that much to be fully in charge of all these things. My final thought here is that coding has been around in different capacities for hundreds of years. If you told somebody back in the day, they replaced the punch card machine, maybe they would have also been like, oh, you shouldn't learn how to code because now we don't have punch cards anymore. But guess what? We're all typing on our computers now. The idea that having a technical background and knowing how to code and knowing how computers take inputs is not valuable because you're gonna be able to build a little website with your little chat GPT plus plus is a little silly to me. And AI is still really unproven. Obviously it's something that people are so excited about, but people were also so excited about cryptocurrency and web three and I haven't heard the word Bitcoin in like one bajillion years. I always think it's a safer assumption that the latest and greatest technology is gonna drop off than it is going to change our society wholesale. So yeah, I think you should still learn how to code. AI gonna replace software engineers one day farther into the future? I, maybe, I don't know. But by that point, I think AI will probably have replaced doctors and lawyers and CVS self checkout machines. So I don't know what you would even be at that point. So if you wanna to learn to code, you should learn to code. And listen, if you vehemently disagree with me, feel free to follow along. We can check back with each other in a year's time. I've been making critical tech content online for quite a few years now. I was a Web3 hater, I was a cryptocurrency hater. Now I guess I'm an AI hater. We'll see what ends up happening. You know, feel free to leave a comment if I end up being horribly wrong and I will make a crying and apologizing video just for you.